Welcome back. Today we're going to do weed guards. I tried different different types of weed guard. This one has the least hassle in tying. It also seems to be the most effective in terms of getting hookups. This is what we're going to use for the weed guard. Dupont Bite Leader, we can get that at tackle shops in Singapore. I don't know about the rest of the world. If you can't, you can follow the diameter which is 0.6mm. I find that this is just soft enough to make it easy for the fish to move the, the bite leader down to get hooked and uh, stiff enough to guard against most weeds that I've encountered anyway. So to start off, we mount the jig this way because we're going to tie it onto the eye. Debub the hook. This is a very good like, practice I do all the time because I do catch and release exclusively. Okay, how do you know how long this should be? We're going to tie it down this way. It should be just at the part of the hook. But normally I will tie it. I'll give it some leeway about this. One note about cutting hard monofilament like this. If you use your fly tying scissors, you're going to kill your scissors. Use a good pair of pliers. Okay, we're going to tie on on the eye of the hook. Make about 4-5 wraps. Pull it tight and then snip it as close as possible. That will make the tag end go into the wraps. Okay. You can either put it here or here. Let's put it here. Hold it just enough for your thread to go in. This way, go about five wraps. Then you can slowly let go like what I'm doing. Okay, now that we've anchored the monofilament, just adjust it. Pull it out such that it's not touching the ball. You can sit nicely just before the ball. You notice there's a curve. Try and make it parallel with the hook shank. And now you can put tight wraps. As many as you think is enough to anchor. Okay? Next, we're just going to end off. Hold it tight. Same thing, apply some tension and snip. Now you can check if the monofilament is covering the hook eye. Just move it out of the way. Now whether it's move, it's it's curving the right way or not, doesn't matter. You can, do, you can do this to reshape it. Pinch it, pull it in the opposite direction. It'll change. Okay, now that everything is nice, super glue. Just the depth. You don't want too much. That's actually a little bit too much. Spread it around. And we're almost done. Next, we need to trim it to size. If it's too long, actually it doesn't matter because there's more leverage for the fish to, to push this down to expose the hook. But a good practice, and in my experience, just at the where the barb of the hook is. And there's your weak gut. There's another type where it's a, actually a, a loop and then you loop it over the gut. That one's pretty good also, but you need to dial down the diameter of the monofilament. I'll probably do another video how to do that loop. Okay, thanks for watching.